Good morning, Cougars. I'm Mackenzie, and today is Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023. And I'm Olivia, and it's a red day, and today's word of the day is adverb. Please, Please rise, rise and join, join us for the pledge. pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For today's lunch, we have chicken nuggets with hot roll, roast turkey with hot roll, or fish sandwich. The premium meal is Bosco breadsticks with marinara. And the sides are mashed potatoes and gravy, green beans, peaches, fresh pineapple, milk, or juice. For tomorrow's lunch, we have corn dog or bread and chicken sandwich. The premium meal is pasta bar. And the sides are broccoli, red pepper strips, tossed salad, applesauce, mixed berry cup, milk, or juice. It's everyone's favorite part of the show. It's joke time. And I have a great one. Guess what? I invented a new word. Okay. Plagiarism. Oh, I get it. Each month, we focus on a character word that we should all try to practice, model, and hopefully make a habit in our daily lives. Yes, we do. And February's character word is honesty. And it means being truthful to yourself and others. We can show this by choosing not to cheat on a test. Listen up, Cougars. Congress Middle School's track team is holding a fundraiser for all of your dinner needs at Chipotle. Our CMS track team will receive 33% of our fundraiser sales during this Chipotle fundraiser. Please plan to participate on Tuesday, March 7th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can participate by ordering digitally or at the physical Chipotle restaurant located at 8600 North Boardwalk Avenue. To participate digitally, order on Chipotle's mobile app or website using the code Q772JZN. To participate at the restaurant, tell, tell the cashier of your participation before paying your bill. Thank you again for all of your support for our awesome track team. Listen up, Cougars. Impact testing will be offered twice this week, today and tomorrow, right after school in Mr. Cooper's room. Make sure you have a charged laptop and signed permission slip to test. Listen up, Cougars. The office is challenging you to a March Madness trash bag competition. That's right. Sales will begin March 1st and go through the 15th. And whichever team sells the most trash bags will win a pizza party. Trash bags are $12 a roll, and the team that sells the most will win a pizza party for your whole team. Come on, Team Cyclones. We can't let Dr. Smith and the office crew outsell those trash bags. We need a pizza party. More information to come. Listen up, Cougars. There's an easy way to report bullying here at CMS called the Sprigio Program, and it's super easy to access. All you have to do is go to the Congress website, find the Sprigio icon, click on it, then enter the information. Please make sure to use this resource if needed. We want to make sure everyone feels safe coming to school each and every day. Hey, this Friday is going to be a fun-filled assembly. Do you know if there's a theme? There sure is. Keep calm and assembly on. Stuku has prepared five fun games for us to play, such as classic three-legged race, human ring toss, heart collector, yoga poses, and head, shoulders, knees, and cups. Those sound awesome. Your team teachers have been sent the details about each game, including how many student volunteers your team will need and sample videos of what to expect. So each one of those games will be worth points, and wearing your team t-shirt on Friday will also be worth points. Is there any other way for, us, for our team to get points? Yes, there is more. Stuco is bringing back the mystery item challenge, where we will give you three clues, and your team needs to bring in the correct item. I remember this. My favorite clue from November was, bring your friend who never eats at Thanksgiving because they are already stuffed. I brought my favorite stuffed animal and got a team point. What are the clues for this assembly? I'm so glad you asked. Just like last time, each item equals at least one point for your team. So if you bring 123 of the item, you will get 123 points. Yeah, 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 we get it. What are the clues? Okay, listen up everyone. Here are the clues. Clue number one, this assembly is happening in February, but you may want a little St. Patrick's Day luck for your team. Bring in this traditional Irish symbol for luck. Each one counts as one point. Clue number two, what do I need to sell to win a pizza party for my team? Bring in a sample and earn one point towards the Cougar Cup. Clue number three, now that we have our most recent championship game in parade, <laughs> Out of the way, it's time to think about a new crown for our heads. 
Each team member wearing this will get two points for their team. I think I know what clue number two is, but I'm not telling anyone who isn't on my team. I'm not giving away my points. Only one person in this building is 100% sure about the answer for each clue, and she's not talking. There's one final thing about this assembly. There's going to be a special recognition of three students during the assembly, but that's all I'm allowed to say because it's a surprise. I wonder if they're finally going to recognize my incredible unicorn training skills. Um, no, I guarantee it's not that. Fine. Assembly recap. Wear your team shirt on Friday and ask your team teachers about game details and bring in those mystery items. Friday can't get here fast enough. Listen up, Cougars. Make sure you are grabbing your copy of the 2022-23 yearbook. They are $35 and can be purchased at www.jossens.com. You will definitely want to relive all of the fun assemblies, dances, concerts, sporting events and all the other fun memories that will be made. And you'll mostly want to look back at how awesome you and your friends were in 2022 and 23. Hey Cougars, did you know? That our school has a digital store? That's right. Just scan the QR code on one of the flyers hanging around school to shop. 10% of the sales come right back here to us at CMS. So make sure you're checking out the CMS digital store to get your Congress gear and support our school. Listen up, 7th and 8th graders. Are you interested in trying out for the Park Hill Dance Team in the future? Then you should attend the upcoming Open Gems. High school dance team seniors and coaches will lead these Open Gems that will work on skills that will be evaluated during tryouts. These Open Gems are open to all 7th through 11th grade students. They will be held in the Congress Gym during the following times. Next Tuesday, February 28th from 2.30 to 4 p.m. Thursday, March 2nd from 5 to 6.30, and Thursday, March 9th from 2.30 to 4 p.m. The cost is $5 per open gym, and you do not need to attend all sessions. For more information, check out our Instagram, at Park Hill Dance. For today's celebration of Black History Month, we will be highlighting Benjamin O. Davis, Sr. Davis lived from March 28, 1880 to November 26, 1970. Benjamin O. Davis Sr. was the first black general in the U.S. Army. He served for 50 years, beginning as a temporary for the lieutenant during a Spanish-American War. Throughout his service, Davis was a professor of military science at Tuskegee and Wilberforce <laughs> University, commander of the 369th Infantry of New York National Guard and Special Assistant to the Commanding General, among other positions. According to his historian Russell Wigley, his career is significant not for personal accomplishments because he was, not, was only allowed a limited range of responsibilities, but as an indicator of a small forward movement for Amer African Americans in the United States Army in the World War II era. On July 20th, 1948, after 50 years of military service, Davis retired in a public ceremony with President Harry S. Truman presiding. Six days later, on July 26, 1948, President Truman issued an executive order 9981, which abolished racial discrimination of the United States Armed Forces. From July 1953 through June 1961, Davis served as a member of the American Battle Monuments Commission. He received the Bronze Star Medal and the Distinguished Service Medal and is bur buried with his Sage o offered Arlington and Arlington National Cemetery. Let's watch this short documentary to find out more. Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 25th of October 1940, Benjamin Oliver Davis Sr. became the first African American general in the United States Army. Davis was born in Washington, D.C., and although his army records and gravestone claim that he was born in 1877, his biographer since found a census document that suggests he was actually born three years later and had falsified his birth year in order to join the military. Davis first entered military service following the outbreak of the Spanish-American War in 1898 
and later went on to serve as Professor of Military Science and Tactics at both Wilberforce University in Ohio and Tuskegee University in Alabama, as well as continuing to serve tours of duty around the world. Having been assigned to the 369th Regiment, New York National Guard, in 1938, he later took command of the unit and was promoted to Brigadier General by President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the 25th of October 1940. During the Second World War, Davis was an influential member of the Advisory Committee on Negro Troop Policies. Having been tasked with improving race relations and securing the morale of black soldiers in the European theatre, he lobbied to end segregation and introduce full racial integration. Davis was awarded the Distinguished Service Medal on the 22nd of February 1945 for his wise advice and counsel that had brought about a fair and equitable solution to many important problems which have since become the basis of far-reaching War Department policy. Benjamin O. Davis Sr. died on the 26th of November 1970 and was buried in Arlington National Cemetery. His son, Benjamin O. Davis Jr., had already followed in his father's footsteps by becoming the first African-American general in the United States Air Force. Stay tuned to our show for more in influential people to celebrate Black History Month. Hey, do you know how you know how we love all of our amazing teachers and staff here at CMS? Let's make sure we are showing how much we appreciate all that they do for us. That's right. What a better way to show love and appreciation for our teachers and staff here at Congress than to fill out a thank a teacher slash staff member form. Teachers, please remind your tutorial students to go to our Congress webpage and complete the Thank a Congress teacher slash staff member form sometime this week. And now it's time for your favorite part of our show, the word of the day. That's right. Today's word is adverb. Enjoy our little schoolhouse rock after our show. And that's a wrap. I'm Mackenzie, and today is Wednesday, February 22nd, 2023. And I'm Olivia, and it's a red day. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day cougars. cougars. <laughs> Yep. Ready, son? Uh huh. Let's go. Let's go. One, two. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs in. Lolly, 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 got some adverbs in. Come on down to Lolly's, get the adverbs in. You're going to need if you write or read or even think about it. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs in. Got a lot of lolly, jolly adverbs in. Anything you need, and we can make it absolutely clear. A word. That's all it is, and there's a lot of them. That modifies a verb. Sometimes a verb, sometimes. It modifies an adjective, or else another adverb. And so you see, that is positively very, very necessary. Lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Father, son, and lolly selling adverbs here. Got a lot of adverbs, and we make it clear. So come to lolly. Hello, folks. This is Lolly Sr. saying we have every adverb in the book, so come on down and look. Hello, folks. Lolly Jr. here. Suppose your house needs painting. How are you going to paint it? That's where the adverb comes in. We can also give you a special intensifier so you can paint it very neatly or rather sloppily. Oh, how? Suppose you're going nut gathering. Your buddy wants to know where and when. Use an adverb and tell him. Get your adverb. Use it with an adjective. It says much more. Anything described can be described some more. Anything you'd ever need is in the store. And so you choose very carefully every word you use. Use it with a verb. It tells us how you did. Where it happened, where you're going, where you've been. Use it with another adverb. That's the end. And even more. are answered when you use an adverb. Come and get it, lolly, 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 get your adverbs here. Quickly, 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 get those adverbs here. <laughs>
slowly, surely, really learn your adverbs, yeah. You're going to need them if you read them, if you write or talk or think about them, Molly. If it's an adverb, we have it at Lolly's. Bring along your old adjectives, too, like slow, soft, and sure. We'll fit them out with our L-Y attachment and make perfectly good adverbs out of them. Get your adverbs here. Lots of good tricks and lollies, so come on down. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Adverbs deal with manner, place, time. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Condition, reason. Father, son, and lolly. Comparison, contrast. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Enrich your language with adverbs. Lolly, lolly, lolly. Besides, they're absolutely free. Lolly, lolly, lolly. At your service. Indubitably.